Hi, this is Dr. Kent Holtorf with the Holtorf Medical Group. I'd like to talk to you today about vitamin D. Lots of information coming out almost on a daily basis about, about the benefits of vitamin D. And what we're finding is that, you know, uh, is that vitamin D levels, so many people are low. Because, again, if you look at normal ranges, if 80% of people are are low, they say, well, you're normal. That's okay to be normal. But once they've fixed that and said, well, what's really optimal, now we're finding that going to optimal range of vitamin D reduces the risk for cancer, improves immunity, uh, reduces the risk for diabetes, uh, improves bone loss. So many benefits to vitamin D. How come we're just finding about this now? And, and what we've been finding is that getting, just giving tiny doses of vitamin D, the recommended daily allowance of 400 units, doesn't do much. You need to bring it to more optimal levels. So a normal range is about 30 to 100, and, but the studies are finding if you're above 80, that's where you get the biggest benefit. And the doses to do that uh, usually are about 5,000 units a day, uh, 5 to 15,000, where most doctors are giving 400, 1,000, 2,000, and it's just not enough. Why is, are so many people low vitamin D? Well, chronic stress is lowering vitamin D, pesticides, plastics. Another thing that when you go out in the sun, you get UVA and UVB, um, one makes vitamin D, the other one uh, breaks down vitamin D, so you never get too much vitamin D going out in the sun. But when you stand in front of a glass door, a glass window, the sunlight gets through that actually destroys vitamin D, but not the one that actually creates vitamin D. So you're actually destroying vitamin D that way. So one reason why that we're finding so many people are low, also people go out and use a lot of sunscreens, but actually uh, one study found that surfers who got at least four hours of sun a day with no wetsuit or, or uh, sunscreen all had low vitamin D. So there's something else going on. Very likely pesticides, toxins, plastics. So one way to prevent a lot of these chronic illnesses, get that vitamin D checked.